Hi everyone, this is what we're gonna make today. It's something I posted on my TikTok a while back, so it's kind of a clothing wall made with box. It's a very simple network involving pops, but you could also make this in sub. So let's get started. We will start with a blank new project. Uh, as usual, I will have this project file on my Patreon. The first thing you will need is a box spot. We will change the size to 10, 1.7, and 0.7. I will zoom in. Now, what I want to do is I want to move along the x axis, which is the red axis, but if we look at the box, the faces are closed, so I want to actually delete those faces. To do that, we will need to bring a delete pop. And then we want to change the operation to keep selected. Then we will go to attribute, and we want to delete on the x-axis. So in the attribute, the x-axis are p0. So select that, and we want to change the function to is greater than 0. So now you will see that one face is disappeared. Then we will copy and paste the delete, connect it here, and we will invert it. So now both of the faces are gone. Now what we want to do is to have points instead of just a plain box. Uh, you could use the point primitive here but as you can see there's not many points and we want to have points all along the shape or the surface. To transform this into point we will use a sprinkle. You can also reduce the number of points if it's too high for you but I will keep it to 10,000. Let's grab a box. We will change the size to 0 0.1, 0 0.05, and 0 0.1. Let's grab a copy. Then the null. And attach it to a geo. We will make the render network. Bring a camera, a light, a render top. We will create a constant shop for the resolution. So, first constant would be resolution X and resolution Y for the second one. Resolution would be 1280 by 720. Just right click and view, click on the render, common, and then we will drag the resolution. We can change a pixel format to 32 bit float and then attach it to a transform just to make a background. Enable, uh, put the alpha to 1 and then enable the comp over background color. Connect it to a null, make the viewer active. For the material, we will use a phone. Let's just spam it for now and I will uh, change it later. Now we can see that the shape is not aligned with the camera. To fix that, let's bring after the sprinkle, let's bring a transform. Change the transform order to translate, scale, rotate and change the y-axis to 270 and now we can see that we have kind of a passage now what we can do is we can animate the camera so if we go into the camera and then we uh, zoom in we can see that it goes forward and I would say that a good place to stop would be maybe minus 2 so in order to animate that, we can use a pattern chop, a ramp, 
length would be 600 because I want to match it with the timeline. Then we're gonna use a time slice from that. And we can see it goes from 0 to 1. So we don't need to change the range here, but we will change the second range. We will go from 1 to minus 2. Then we can attach it to a null. I'll make the viewer active, go into the camera and then just drag it here. To make the closing effect, what I did is I changed the uniform scale of the box. So it kind of moved forward. Uh, maybe we can change the font now so we can see better. I want to create kind of shadow or gradient in color. So what I did is I, I took a ramp top. Then I changed the resolution to the one we have. And then I drag it on the font and I perm with the color map here. And then I also reduce the diffuse and I increase the specular. You can also uh, change the phase and the period. Maybe reduce the phase and then you can increase the period a little bit. Another thing we could do is um, after the transform, so I think it would create more depth, uh, we can add the noise, decrease the period, so we have uh, the box a bit scattered everywhere, let's say 0 0.2, then we can go into the transform and animate the translate 4D. So the formula would be ABS uh, capital T time dot second. Now it's gonna move fast, but we can multiply it by 0 0.1 so it goes slower. Even 0 0.1. Now if I change the uniform scale, yeah, it's a bit better. Okay, so we will animate also the uniform scale, so we can take the same pattern, just select everything, copy and paste, and then I want to go maybe from 0 to something like 3. Make the viewer active and just drag it here. So the box be becomes bigger the more we advance in the animation. Just a trick, if you see that your frame rates are dropping, you can uh, control A to select everything and then just switch up the, the viewers and it will be better because the Jedi doesn't have to render every um, animation in every component. If you want, you could add uh, some color or more gradient to, to the ramp. For the post-processing, I like to have this kind of grainy noise effect. So usually what I do is I add a noise after my transform. So we can bring a noise. And in the output, we will select noise only. And then the period, put it to zero. And depending on what you like uh, for the texture, I usually decrease the exponent. the amplitude as well. After you can attach it to a level, so you can control the opacity when you combine it. Then I bring a composite and I choose the operation overlay. You can see it's a bit much, so what you can do is go into the level the pose and reduce the opacity. Just tweak it until you like it. Then you could also 
other bloom just to make more light. Reduce the pre-back level and then the in blue radius and then just reduce the bloom. You can view it. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like and comment and see you in the next one.